Hi, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a custom logo ROM for the Game Boy slash Game Boy Color. And I guess you could use it on the Game Boy Advance as well. In this tutorial, I am going to be using GB Studio. I personally don't use this method. I custom code them myself using GBDK. But this is just an easier method for people with no coding experience. So first I am going to explain a bit of the tech behind the Game Boy screen because this confuses some people. First off, the OG screen is black and white but it technically uses four shades. As you can see here, for the Game Boy Pocket it uses black and white shades and for the original Game Boy it uses those greeny colours. Now the screen to mention is 144 by 160 pixels. But the way the CPU talks to the screen, it uses tiles, which are 8x8 pixels. The screen has 20x18 tiles. This is more important when it comes to coding your own games using GBDK, for example. I'm not too sure if tiles are really a consideration when using GB Studio. I'm just mentioning it here because some people will see, oh, palette colors available, 32,000, and think, they can put 32,000 colors on the screen at the same time. But that's not really how it works. As you can see underneath, it has colors on the screen, supports 10, 32, or 56 at a time. So now we need to download GB Studio. Um, this is a free program that helps out when making Game Boy games. You can pretty much get away with having zero programming knowledge and still make a Game Boy game. It's really popular and a lot of people have made some really great games using this. For example, Nara Makes Games is making his game Sanctuary through GB Studio, which I am pretty excited for. So just go ahead and download and install GB Studio. I already have. Once you have it and installed it and everything, open it up and name the project. I'm just calling it Logo ROM. And then you can choose the path. I'm just using the default. And then for template, click here, which is blank project. Now we need to add our scene. So just press the plus and add the scene. You can pl just place the, it wherever and then now click on it and then over on the right where it has type, we're going to click logo. You can see the placeholder here, which is just the default of what the screen will be showing right now on the Game Boy. This is what we're going to edit to put the logo as what we want. So to start, we're just going to click the folder here, which will open the directory. Click assets, background, and here is the placeholder PNG. Now this placeholder image just has the four colors of the palette like I was telling you before. This light green is what would be the white and this dark green would be the black on a Game Boy Pocket for example and the different shades there. You can edit this using anything. You can use MS Paint, Photoshop or GIMP if you want a free option. I personally use a sprite to make pixel art so I'm going to use that. It's available on Steam. So I'm just going to drag the PNG into a sprite. Now these four colors here are the palette and these are the only four colors you can use. You have to stick to these colors so GB Studio can actually read the PNG later and we will change the colors later in, P in GB Studio. Instead of just drawing a whole picture I'm just gonna add a text logo for now so I'll just type in my name and the font that I'm using is from Defont. so you see how it has the black background here that's because this PNG is actually an index file an index file means that you can only use the four colors or however many colors it has in the index baked into the PNG so you can see it le it's leaving all these black squares everywhere. That's because that's considered the background color. Now to change this, we have to change the file type from 
index color to RGB. To do that in a sprite, go to sprite and then color mode RGB. Now I'm just going to start all over with a blank canvas and get rid of all of this. So this light green is what would be considered a white background. And on the left here, you can see the four colors. Just ignore this fluoro green. That's for GB Studio stuff. I'm just going to select the black, make a new layer, and then just add some text. Make sure anti-aliasing is off when you make the text. Now this is just a free font from Defont, and I don't like how some of the letters look, so I'm just going to tidy them up slightly, like the R here and the D. Tend to justify it and then try to center it to the canvas as well as I can. Then I'm just going to duplicate the layer and I'm going to add another color from the palette and then move this underneath from the layers and then slightly across so it looks like a little shadow. Then now I'm just going to flatten these layers. And save it. Now back to GB Studio, you can see already there's my little logo. So we're at to the point where we want to change the colors. To do that first, you want to enable color mode. And that's when you will see the palettes here. Now, this is what I was talking about with the palettes. You can only choose one at a time. So these are just the default palettes built into GB Studio. But I want to make my own, so we'll go on the left here and go to Palettes. And I'm first going to change that color that would be in the light green to white. Now I didn't use this second color, so we'll just change this to last ones. I'm going to go with black. And just try to find a nice yellow to try to stay on brand. You can also use hex colors, but what GB Studio will do is convert these to 15-bit RGB, which is what the Game Boy Color uses. I'm pretty sure that modern devices use 256 RGB, so the colors won't be exactly the same. Now I'm pretty happy with this, so I'll just go back to the main screen. And there you can see is my little sprite background with the color I just made. So let's zoom in. And you can see, yeah, the colors are exactly what I made them. If it isn't, you can just change the palette up the top right here by clicking on the palette you made in the paint bucket and changing it. See, these are the, once again, the default palettes built in. You can customize all of these. So that's about it with GB Studio. Um, you can export the ROM now or you can test it by running it, but it's a pretty simple ROM and I'll know it will work. So we'll just export it, click there and then export ROM. Now while it's building, I'll just explain why I don't use GB Studio for my logo carts. And it's because the carts I flash are 32K in size and the colors seem to work a bit better when I code them using GBDK. With GB Studio, it has a default ROM size, which you can't change. 
and that's a problem when it comes to flashing physical cards. As you can see here, it's 128 kilobytes, but since we're using a flash card, it doesn't really matter. So I have a emulator already installed and I'm just gonna double click it. And there's the ROM. You can add some more cool stuff in GB Studio like a button tester or a sound tester. I can do another video on that if you want. Once again, this isn't how I do my button tests or anything because I want more control over the ROM size and the color palettes. But not everyone knows how to program and it's not accessible to everyone. So this is a fun way to do it yourself if you want. Not to self promo, but I still will make them myself. I actually draw the images myself. As you can see, I will show you one that I already did. A ROM in the past I did to show you how I would do it using GBDK. I'm just going to blur out all of this so I don't show anyone's names of the ROMs that I've already built. I will actually show you Marky Pie's one because I was really happy with the way that one turned out. You can see how many more colors it has compared to this other one. Like for example, the color red, which is one color, and then green, two, yellow, three, blue, four, green, five, and then the seal, which is six, the, and then the white, which is seven. I had to do a lot of little tricks with this so it would work because only four colors are allowed in an eight by eight pixel tile. So if you see here, when I go into look at the palettes, I have about eight or something palettes. Some look very similar, but that's so it would work also in black and white with the shades that the CPU already has built in. See here with Marky Pie using the ROM, the black and white works perfectly. So this is the exact same ROM. It would work on black and white and on the color. And that's because these palette, the palette here is the exact same shades that the is already built in. So that's why it's important to have the palettes because the dark color goes with the dark color and so on with the shades matching up. So it works on both the Game Boy and the Game Boy color. Now I'm just gonna put the ROM on my flash cart to show you. So I just put it in my flash cart and now I'm gonna put that in my Poco. Don't get confused, this isn't a pocket, it's actually a, a Game Boy Color. So we're just gonna go down to Logo GB Studio. And there is the little logo rum we just made. Thanks, I hope this helps. Have a nice day.